folks, thanks for joining me for another head shave. Today is Tuesday, and I am going to be doing a head shave with the Gillette Atcher razor. Now, I've got my metal handle one. These come in different uh, handles. This goes from the 70s to the 90s. I think it was called the Contour over in Europe. But I like this for head shaving. And this is the Gen 2 of Gillette's cartridge razors. This was the one with the pivoting. Before this was the Track 2. And I'll go over some different blades later. The earlier ones had no lube strips, which I have here. These came with my uh, new old stock plastic handle one. You can get them off of eBay. Very inexpensive. And if you want a inexpensive razor or cartridge razor for head shaving, it's a good choice. So I'm going to load one up. I've got the button down, you can see, and that opens up everything. And I'm going to load in a new blade. I like the ones without the, uh, the lube strip because they they just seem to pivot better. All right, so I've got Cremo Classic out of the set. I just want a simple head shave today. I've got Dickinson's Witch Hazel, just in case, and I've got the Cremo Balm, post-shave balm refreshing mint. And for brush, I've got my DS Cosmetics Synthetic, because I want a consistent lather. So, all right, let's get on with head shave here. Hope you guys have been good, been getting good shaves. I've been just leaving, watching you guys videos and leaving a, uh, a like on the video. If I can, I'm going to use about that much. Got two or three days on the dome. You out there that make videos, I, you know. Yeah. Don't want soap in the eye. Cremo's good stuff. It lathers very easy. It's readily available. I think they changed the packaging. Uh, some stores, I've noticed, you know, the color of the tube and all that. And it comes in all different scents and all that stuff. Good stuff. It can be used as a pre-shave or by itself like this. I guess you could lather it with your hands. I like using a brush. And this came out of the set with the Cremo uh, five bladed razor, which shaves okay. Just the handle's not the best. And them Atra handles, they came in all different types. Uh, there's plastic, there's Bakelite, there's wood, there's uh, metal, there's a silver plated one. I might even be forgetting some. But they're, uh, yeah. And I mean, this razor right here is from, what is it, a E2. So what's that, 84? 85? 1984, 85? <laughs> so it's, you know, it's 40 years old and still stand the test of time. They can get a little um, loose, these metal ones. The plastic ones, they don't, though. I don't head shave with them all the time. Most of the time, if I'm gonna, I grab a track two. And compared to the track two, the Atra is a little more aggressive. Got a little soap in the eye. All right, got base in here, and let's uh, start this head shave. Back to front. Oh, that blade is nice. Now, Mach 3, it does do a good head shave, and it is commonly available, but... In my area, I can get blades for this. Not these blades. Not these ones without the lube strip. But I can get them. 
I can even get the Gillette blades for this. They're expensive. I wouldn't buy them. They've, they're the Atra Plus. I think they're like $28, $30 for uh, 10 blades, which is ridiculous. But at the end of the video here, I'll show you some decent blades. And you can get these off of eBay. I got this hand. I felt bad how I got this handle. Guy had messed up his post, uh, and he posted it up for I think a dollar. And I offered to pay him more, but he sent it, so I messaged him. And So if you're around my age, they do have, this is one of the razors you can get if you're born in the 80s and the 70s. I think they even go into the 90s. You also got the super speeds. Uh, those go to the late 80s. The uh, super adjustable goes to the late 80s as well. And then you got some of the European techs. They go that late as well. Which I thought about getting out of tech, but I've done a bunch of videos with techs lately, so I don't want to oversaturate it. It's my, my favorite razor to tech. For everyday shaving and for head shaving they're nice they're mild good stuff Get some warm water in there. I ought to get on bathroom plate. I haven't been on there in a while. And toast and some other DFS. See what's going on in the shaving world. The last I, I looked, I saw Yaki had all them releases. And uh, a one blade. They're coming out with, uh, speaking of single edge, one blade is, uh, I seen Ken Surf's video where uh, they're coming out with their own blades. I hope they have the cutouts because that would be awesome for the auto straps. And that kind of <laughs> makes me regret modifying that one auto strop if that's the case. Uh, the earlier auto straps, you don't need them cut out, but the later ones, which are common as heck on eBay, for a good price. I just hope they do. We'll see. I just could never justify paying for the feather blades. All right, soap in the eye. All right. And if you don't want to have to spend money on eBay and all that for these, there is this Gillette uh, sensor. I need to get some of them and just do a head shave with them. I know they're expensive. The Barbasol 2s aren't... I've had bad luck with them. I'll, maybe it was the package. I'll get some. I'm going to Dollar Tree here in a couple days, and I'll pick up a package for a head shave. Might even pick up some of their three-bladed and some other ones. Do some budget head shaves. Because how things are right now. We need the most budget equipment we can get just to get by.
Last time I was there, they didn't have much of new of anything. Also, some news for uh, you people that are somewhat local to me. I know there's a couple of you. I don't know if you guys have uh, watched the news, but uh, they're moving in Rutland, which is my nearest big city for everybody else. We used to have a mall. It's called the Diamond Run Mall, and if you look it up on YouTube, you can see people breaking into it. It shut down a while ago because of the recession and all that stuff. That's how long. I think it was 2019 it shut down, or earlier. And they're going to develop it into a super Walmart, which will be nice, I think. Don't hear me complain about it. All the products, uh, the Kremel products that I get and the VDH from Walmart, I get from the super Walmart that's in over in Glens Falls, New York. Also be taking a ride over to the Queechy Antique Mall here soon. It's been over a month, so I'll take a ride over and see what they got new over there. Yeah, just right there. And there's plenty of slickness with this soap. Yeah, it's good enough. I'd give it a, uh, the closeness, nine, nine out of, 9.5 out of 10. There's stubble spots here and there, but I'm not going to risk irritation. Now, if you guys know anything I should be looking for, razor-wise, that's coming out on the horizon, let me know. I've just been out of the loop lately. Bow season starts here for archery for deer, so... I don't, I don't do archery, but my family does. I'm all... I've got all the classes done for it. I just don't... I've never been big on bow hunting, so... My thing is uh, black uh, muzzle loader and black powder, and not that inline stuff. That's not to me. That's no I'm talking the old hawking cap locks, flint locks, all that kind of stuff. All right, let's see. Any blood? Uh, I'm not seeing anything. I'm gonna skip the witch hazel because uh, I'm, yeah, I'm not believe I don't have any irritation. So I'm gonna use the uh, Cremo Post Shave Balm. At least I don't feel any cuts. So yeah, I'm not seeing any. You guys might probably see one I missed or something, but <laughs> yeah, no, uh, no burn. It's a bomb, so. Leaves a nasty residue on your hands, but hey, it's good. It was a good set for what I paid for it. I got that on Father's Day, so yeah. So no, nice uh, head shave with the after. Now, what are some uh, blades you can get? Well, you got the Persona Twin Pivot Plus. These are the Rite Aid ones. You can't get these anymore. I got this from a discount store, but these have the lube strip. This is the ones from uh, Price Chopper slash Shop uh, Stop and Shop. 
These are the uh, Care One. They used to sell the, uh, or they still do. They sell the German Persona uh, double edge blades, and you could get gem blades from, uh, for our Hannaford, sorry, not shop, right? Hannaford's. You can get these, and these are, I think, like two bucks. You get 10 of them. Or no, they're three dollars. You get three dollars and something cents, and you get ten blades. They've got the lube strip on them, and they fit this in the track too. So, yeah, you can't beat that. Get yourself a cheap handle off of eBay, and yeah, or if you want to get in bulk like I did, you can get the um, off of eBay or Amazon for like twenty bucks for a hundred blades. I get about eight to ten shaves. With a with head shaving off of a blade, and they're they're great for what they are. The lube strip can kind of, kind of be a pain depending on what soap you're using. So, nope. Uh, yeah. Any comments or questions about this razor? Please put them down below. I hope you guys have a great rest of the week till I see you Sunday with a lather lather catcher Sunday shave. I don't know what I'm gonna get out yet. So that's that. And uh, yeah. So great shave. Oh, I do got, I got one. So I'll, I'll take care of that. I got the septic pencil over there. So yeah. All right. Rambling. You guys take care out there and happy